Hi, it's Michael back again, part three. Uh, this time we're going to install the processor, which we have took from all the unique packaging. And I kind of want to emphasize and spend about 60 seconds here explaining, well, Mikey, why did you use a single core processor? It's day and time. They got quad core this, dual core that, and, and hyper threaded this, and all this fancy uh, computer nerd language uh, out there in cyberspace, and everyone's hearing the buzz, oh, buy dual core. Well, the only problem I have with that is the I.O. addressing for the memory and so forth in the hardware side of the computer uh, goes up to uh, some other boards are recognized uh, 2.95 or 2.85 uh, gigs of RAM or whatever or 3.95. It never is going to recognize all four gigs if you have a dual core processor you're not going to get the benefits of that dual core processor if you're not running a 64-bit operating system. So if you're not running Windows XP 64-bit um, or Vista 64-bit, then a dual core processor or a quad core processor, you're only using a quarter or a half of the processor um, at any time. And so use a single core, cheaper. Uh, I believe this was $28 on Newegg. Why buy a $300 processor when, if you don't have $600 worth of software to push it, if you're not going to be using it? And it's just my rationale. Uh, call me old-fashioned, but single cores always work for me. And uh, all four gigs of your memory will show right up in it. And that's the maximum in 32-bit. And believe it or not, more people like XP still than Vista. I don't care how much they hype it. It's just a... Uh, um, what we have here, folks, single core processor. What do you need to know about this single core processor? First off, raise this little bar here. This is a ZIF, zero insertion force. Means, in layman's terms, you can just sit it down and it'll have a seat. Real, it'll just go right in if you're holding it right. Now, if you notice this little triangle, this is pin one or signifying pin one. Down here on the motherboard, on the socket, there's a little triangle here. Have you noticed the little pin sets triangle there too, like it is on the processor? So that's how we need to sit it down. So we're just going to go right over it, real gently, and position it. And when you get it right there, see how it sat right down? It sits right down. Zero force, zero insertion force, ZIF. It's a ZIF socket means no pressure applied whatsoever. It just goes in with this arm up, of course. And then when you got it in, you'll know it just sits down. You press it down and you lock it. Now you just installed your processor. And AMDs, uh, the reason I always go with AMD here uh, lately is that I had several bad runs with Intel processors that had the pin set not on the processor but on the motherboard. Not all. Hey, maybe I got a couple bad products in a row or three. <clears throat> maybe not. Maybe it's just poor engineering. I, I, I don't know. I'm not saying that. I, I'm not the scientist or the engineer in the lab. I just know what's easiest for me to put together. And that's this. Alright. <clears throat> so, part four is going to be installing the memory. See you soon. Wefixitnow.com.